بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم عدیل عباس فرام نیٹنگ سکس سمیسٹر ٹوڈے ہیئر ٹو پریزنٹ اباؤٹ ٹیکسٹائل ٹیسٹنگ اینڈ کوالٹی کنٹرول فور میڈ سمیسٹر اسیسمنٹ آف سبجیکٹ نیٹڈ فیبرک ٹیسٹنگ اینڈ کوالٹی کنٹرول ہیئر آر دا کانٹینٹس آف پریزنٹیشن فرسٹلی آئی ول ڈسکس ٹیکسٹائل ٹیسٹنگ دین کوالٹی کنٹرول اینڈ دین آئی ول ڈسکس سم فیکٹرز افیکٹنگ کوالٹی and importance of textile testing and quality control in textile industries and at the end I will conclude the presentation. Uh, what is textile testing? Uh, textile testing is referred as a check of the quality and appropriateness of raw material and end products formed from that raw material. It is also called as a laboratory experiment which is carried out to determine the textile data of fiber, yarns, fabrics and other textile products. Uh, textile testing is always carried out using special techniques and procedures according to standards developed by international organizations such as ISO and ASTM. Here are some objectives of textile testing. Uh, the first one is checking raw material, uh, then production monitoring, faulty material investigation, final product assessment, product development, and at the end there is a search purposes we will discuss all these objectives in detail in for the slides the first one objective of textile testing is raw material checking it has been said that production cycle and production quality of an industry is totally dependent on its raw material so before running any raw material on production floor its testing is performed in order to justify the quality of raw material For example, in knitting industries, yarn is used as a raw material, so before running that yarn on knitting machines, its Ooster report is prepared, uh, which justifies the specific qualities of yarn such as its count, twist per meter, and several other qualities. The second one objective of textile testing is production monitoring. During production monitoring, samples are collected randomly from whole production floor and their testing is carried out. Uh, the samples are collected in a specific manner that the testing results of collected samples will represent the quality of whole production floor. In industry, some software like ERP and MRP are used for keeping the production monitoring in digital and efficient. And then there is final product assessment. Before shipment, the products are examined in bulk in order to check their specifications and quality although it is too late to alter the production conditions. Uh, but some improvements can be made for future production to avoid the losses and faults obtained in current production. Uh, faulty material investigation textile testing is also performed to investigate the faults in production. For example, if there is a fault in knitted fabric, uh, then its cause on the machine should be isolated to avoid the further faults. Um, product development and research textile testing is carried out to assist the several researches carried out day by day to meet advancements in the world of textiles. Uh, while in product development, textile testing is performed in order to check the specifications and properties of newly developed products. Ways and methods of textile testing. The textile testing is basically performed by three ways. The first one is supplier testing that the party supplying raw material performs the testing of raw material at its own and provides the raw material along with testing report to the industry. There is a possibility that supplier can alter the report of raw material in order to show that their supplied material is of good quality. Uh, the second one is in-house testing that after receiving the raw material industry performs testing and verifies the quality of the raw material and after production industry also performs the test of the produced goods before supplying these goods to the customer. Uh, the third type is independent laboratory testing also called as third party testing in this the a uh, third party laboratory performs the testing and this is for the satisfaction of both uh, industry supplier and customer also. Uh, then there are the methods of textile testing. The textile testing is always performed by the standard operational procedure and instrument designed by the specific international organizations such as ISO and ASTM. Quality control, the term quality refers to the excellence of any product. For example, if we say that a product is of good quality, it means that the product is specific for the purpose it has been made for, while control refers to the verification of that quality which is often done for its regulation. Uh, 
combining the quality control we can say it as a system which is used for verification and maintaining of a desired level of quality in any existing product or service by careful planning and using a proper equipment continued inspection and corrective action as required for the process or product objectives of quality control the first one is desired quality production that we want to manufacture the products with our desired quality then fulfilling the customer's demand and the demand is always fulfilled by the quality products then earning maximum profit with minimum cost if our products are of good quality then the profit will be maximum with minimum losses then reduction of production cost if the quality of any production floor is maintained at a good level then the production cost will be reduced due to less faults and uh, if faults are reduced then wastage of the production will also be reduced and the industry will go in profit types of quality control the uh, quality control is of two types the first one is process control it is applied during the production process that uh, during production we pick randomly the samples and test their quality in order to check that the production is running at its quality or not the second one is product control it is applied after the production process that before shipment we check the bulk materials and remove the defective items from that bulk before sending them to the customer uh, now there are factors affecting textiles quality the first one factor is customer customers are the ultimate beneficiaries of the product quality because customers use that product and industry should design the product according to their customer uses because the usage of customer varies from an area to area for example people living in pakistan will use the product in different way than the people living in the europe uh, then there are processes that uh, the process from which the raw material has been passed for its conversion into a product uh, it also justifies the quality of the final product so that product should be passed through optimum processes to achieve the quality products and the third one factor is employees that employees are involved in each operation of an industry and if employees are of good training and they are satisfied by their institution they will work in proper manner in order to produce the quality products for an industry uh, the fourth one factor is raw material that production is totally dependent on the raw material which is used for producing the goods uh, its effect on the production quality is more than the production processes if the raw material is of good quality then the production of an industry will be good and vice versa in the case of poor raw materials importance of textile testing and quality control in industries uh, textile testing and quality control is considered as an important step in each department of industry because the customer always requires quality from an industry rather than the quantity of products so it is compulsory to maintain the quality of products to achieve the satisfaction of customer and in this method the textile testing performs an integral role because it verifies the quality of products by giving the testing results there are the two aspects of quality control the first one is textile testing and second one is inspection uh, in testing we use standard methods and equipment and obtain a numerical value results which satisfy and justify the quality of products while in inspection we make a visual examination and percept the quality of products in order to achieve the good quality products the quality control should be applied at each step of textile manufacturing for example during fibers processing the quality should be maintained then at yarn production fabric manufacturing and sewing the quality should also be maintained and at retailer shops the products should be kept in optimum environment which should not affect the quality of products and at the end the customer treats the products according to the care labor instructions to maintain their quality for long term conclusion uh, textile testing and quality control is an important process in each step of textile production and after production because textile testing verifies the quality of products uh, being manufactured in an industry and quality control works for maintaining the quality of products in optimum level which should be acceptable by both customer and industry uh, while the second point is textile testing and quality control is also used for research and development purposes because if any new product is being developed its testing is compulsory in order to check its properties and specifications uh, here are the reference sources from where the data has been collected for presentation. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.